I'm so happy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> they can't use my shoulders for the next four days. <laughs> um, great. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah, totally. I'm imagining that works. Totally. Okay. Is there still, um, are you gone? Hey, welcome on. Oh, hello. Hey, Shannon. <laughs> we'll start soon. That was just me. I'm looking at like two screens. So, okay. Um, hope you're all set and have your yoga mat in a nice position so you can see the screen without too much effort. Um, we've no music today um, just because I'm using an earphone thing so that you guys can hear me better. Um, we'll see if anyone else is gonna join. Maybe they're gonna join late so we can just start. Yeah. Okay, let's start. Um, Okay, great. Okay, so welcome to your Wednesday lunchtime class. I'm Quiva, for anyone who I haven't met yet. Um, today's class, we're gonna be really opening through our chest and doing some gentle back bends. So it's a really nice energizer and we'll keep moving for 60 minutes. Um, as always, take care and take some rest on the mat whenever you need. So that's in probably child's pose coming forward, or you can take um, Shavasana lying on your back. Um, what else to say to you? Um, yeah, make sure that you have the all clear from your doctor before taking part. Be careful with your body. Make sure that you don't push yourself too far. Too far, and as in it always is in yoga, um, it's about balancing challenge with kind of listening to your body. So, only push as far as you're comfortable with today. Um, what we're going to do is start with a really nice, energizing breathing technique. So, it's from Kundalini, and what we're going to do is take our hands out wide to the side or come to a seat, a comfortable seated position. So a place where you can have your spine long reaching towards the ceiling and feel your sit bones grounded into the mat. So maybe you wanna lean your upper body back a little bit, then forward, then back until you find a place where you feel really stable and can really stretch your body long. Let's take our hands out to the side so you can reach your hands out either side really as far away from you as you can and sweep those hands up and let them land onto your shoulders. So our arms are bent 
and our elbows are high. So elbows are high and in line with our shoulders rather than down here. And your thumbs are facing down the back, so facing towards your um, shoulder blades. So from here, what we're gonna do is twist from left to right. And when we twist left, we're gonna exhale. So gentle twist to the left is on a, an exhale, so like, and then we inhale to the right. Once I start moving, I know what happens is my shoulders creep up, my elbows drop down, and I start to kind of move a little bit like this. So what I want for us is that we keep this kind of long sense in our body, all the space between our shoulders and our ears, and try to just move only to the degree that we can keep all this space and length and keep our elbows high. So you might just be moving a couple of centimeters left and then a couple of centimeters right. I wanna throw in one more option for our breathing technique. And that is to have like an inner mantra that you can say while we do this. So turning left, we exhale, you have the option of saying sat. And then on the inhale, nam. So like, I am truth. It's a really nice um, little breathing technique from Kundalini. And we're gonna do this 26 times. So left and right is one time. I'll count us through. Um, so if you're ready, take our hands out wide to the side, hands on our uh, shoulders, and we'll start with a big inhale here in the center and then an exhale to the left. And you have the option of sat nam as we move. So inhaling, elbows high, and then we start. Coming back to center, you can release your hands down. Just taking a quiet moment, experiencing any sensations that might have arisen in your body. I know I feel like a tingle of energy. You might have something different. Just take a couple of deep breaths as we sit with those sensations. Filling out your belly on the inhale, drawing that up into your chest, opening through your chest and exhaling to allow all that breath to exit through your lungs, drawing your belly in a little bit on the end of the exhale, and then inhale to fill out your belly, filling up the whole of your torso with that inhale and exhale to close down through your ribs, draw your belly in on the end of the exhale. Then we inhale this time. We're going to fill up our whole body with that sense of air and oxygen. And exhale, staying tall, stretching through our body as we draw our ribs in and pull in our belly a little bit at the end of that exhale. So we're going to try and keep that deep breathing for the whole of our practice. Let's come to child's pose. So I'm going to keep my knees together for this child's pose. I usually do knees apart. It's nice to do a variation. Leaning your body or, or allowing your body to fall over your thighs. From here, we're going to think about having our bottom touching our heels and the top of our head reaching long, shoulders drawing away from your ears. Just allow your head to release down, relax down. Using your Ujjayi breathing, even at this stage, if it's in your practice, let's start to walk our fingertips forward just a centimeter even. And think about lengthening through our spine as our bottom reaches a little bit more towards our heels. And we inhale to draw our belly in. And maybe you let your ribs lift off your thighs and then settle a little bit further towards your knees. And allow, allow your forehead to reach down towards the mat as we just start to stretch our upper body further away at the same time as drawing our tailbone, our bottom down closer to our heels. Active through your arms, shoulders away from your ears. Let's inhale to walk our fingertips a little bit further. And then exhale to melt down over your thighs. You can imagine that I'm there and gently pushing 
in the area between your shoulder blades and gently pushing down on your sacrum, your lower back to help you to stretch long. From here, keep your right hand on the ground and take your left hand under your right arms. We're gonna thread the needle and really try to keep our um, belly glued to our thighs and twist open a little bit to the right side. So our bottom stays on our heels. We're just twisting through our upper shoulders. Take one more breath here. And then coming back to center, take your right hand under. So take your right hand under your left arm. Really putting some effort into it. So not pushing too hard, as I said at the start, but making sure that your body can benefit from taking the time here to stretch through our upper back in between our shoulders. Inhale to reach a little bit further. Coming back to center. Now we're going to keep our body glued to our thighs. Start to walk our hands over to the left. So this is really more about our left arm and uh, the left side of our body. So stretching long with that left hand. Trying to keep our um, torso still on our thighs. Shoulders move away from your ears. Let's inhale to walk our fingertips a little bit further and exhale to melt down a little bit more towards the mat. And keeping that really long stretch. So bottom towards your heels and fingertips are reaching as far away as possible. Let's come towards the left side. Inhale to lengthen through your spine. Exhale to fold down. Forehead is reaching towards the mat. Really deep stretch in the right side of your body. If you don't feel it, what you can do is really focus on keeping your belly glued to your thighs and walk yourself a little bit more to the left side. Back to center. Take your right forearm and put it down on the mat. Hand is wide, fingertips are broad, so it feels really stable. Let's reach our left leg out. Or actually, it's reaching our right leg out long. So right arm is down on the mat and right leg is reaching long. Take your left hand around the back and grab the top of your right foot. So we're going to draw our right heel in towards our glutes. So a lovely squad stretch here. And if this feels really stable for you, you can start to walk that right hand out a little bit. So bringing your chest down close to the mat again, really trying to push your hips towards the mat, shoulders away from your ears, feeling that stretch into your quad and your hip flexor. Staying long through your spine as we take one more breath here, drawing that heel a little bit closer to your bottom, and then release. Take your right knee back in, so we're back in child's pose for a second. Left forearm comes down onto the mat, palm is wide, almost like a dolphin arm. And then our left leg reaches long. Take your right hand around the back, grab your left foot, and draw that heel into your body. Really trying to maybe push your hips a little bit more towards the mat if you don't feel the stretch. Shoulders shifting away from your ears. And you can start to walk your left hand a little bit forward if you feel comfortable and stable. Breathing here. Every time we come into a position, trying to get the most from it. So never pushing too far, but never being really passive. It's very easy for me to, I look the same right now as if I was putting more effort in, drawing my heel in, pushing my hips down a little bit more. Now I really start to feel it. One more breath. And take both knees back in. So. We're going to take our um, lift our bottom where so our knees are in a 90 degree angle and then start to walk forward, walk our hands forward until we come down into puppy pose. So puppy pose is where our chest is touching off the ground. Maybe your chin is there as well. You can release a little bit of pressure on your um, shoulders by taking your hands wide. Mm -hmm. And you can also walk your chest a lot more forward so that there's a lot less pressure on your uh, upper back. Like you can walk forward like this to create a, a more gentle puppy. We're gonna 
aim to have a 90 degree in our knees, stretching here, breathing here, shoulders away from the ears. Let's take one more breath. Drawing your core in to support you, start to uh, snake our body forward, coming all the way forward into Sphinx pose. So our elbows are underneath our shoulders and our hands are flat on the mat again, fingers are spread. Let's start to push into the mat with the tops of our feet. Draw our core in, shoulders shift away from your ears and pull our chest forward. So as if someone was drawing our shoulders back and at the same time our chest, our heart center is drawing forward to the front of the mat. Long through the top of your head, breathing here. Engaging your core, lifting your hands. Take them back underneath your shoulders. Uh, elbows are drawing into the side of her body. Shoulders are still reaching towards the back as if someone was drawing them back for you, helping you, and your chest is shining forward. Top of your head is reaching long in our cobra pose. Breathing here. If you feel comfortable, you can start to lift your gaze, making sure there's not so much pressure in your hands. You could lift them at any stage. Keeping your body as it is, let's reach our gaze around to the, our right foot. So I want you to uh, look around to the right at your right foot. Core is drawing in, shoulders away from your ears, and back to center. And let's look around towards our left foot. So just a gentle twist. Maybe this is really easy and you end up looking over your left shoulder towards your right foot, increasing the twist. And back to center. From here, with super active legs, I want you to lift your right foot off the mat. So reaching it really long away, straight behind that knee, feeling the whole back of your leg engaged and making sure that we stay active in our upper body as well. So keeping our the activity in our torso of torso of Cobra, lifting our right leg, stretching long and tipping back down. Lift your left leg. So reach it as far away from you as you can, straight behind that knee. Taking another breath there. Both feet come down to the mat. From here, let's lift up into upward facing dog. So we lift our hips and think about drawing our chest forward. Again, our Shoulders are opening as if someone is helping you to draw them together at the back. Core is strong. Only come into this posture if you're comfortable. If it's too much for you, you can drop your knees down. So tops of our feet are pushing into the, the mat, long through our spine, still with our breathing, long and deep. If you're comfortable, you can start to lift your gaze. Bringing your gaze back to center, let's look towards our right foot. So keeping the rest of our body, is, it remains still. We just turn our gaze towards our right foot. Strong through those legs and back to center, shoulders away from your ears. And then we gaze towards our left foot. Open through the chest, being careful not to cave your chest forward as we look towards the left. You can either take a break and drop your knees down or join me in lifting that right foot, reaching it as far away from you as possible. Open through your chest, straight through that knee. Breathing, one more deep breath, and then relax it down. And then let's lift our left foot. Stretching really long and strong with that leg. And releasing back down. You can take your bottom to your heels. Take a second here to release any pressure in your lower spine. Maybe you want to wiggle your hips around a little bit. Tucking our toes under, let's come up to our downward facing dog. Walking through our feet, trying to lift our hips as high as they can go. The top of our head is reaching in between our hands and our tailbone is reaching really high towards the ceiling on a diagonal. I want you to take your right foot and Put uh, the big toe and your second toe around your left ankle and use that, use your right foot to draw your left ankle down towards the mat. Draw your left heel down towards the mat. 
So keeping your hips centered, pushing into your hands. Remember the knuckle of your thumbs, the knuckle of, of your index finger, a little bit more pressure there, reaching long with your tailbone towards the ceiling. And let's switch feet. Right foot comes to the mat, and then we hook our big toe and our second toe around our right ankle, drawing our right heel down to the mat, really helping to lengthen through the back of that leg. Replacing both feet down. Maybe now you can get your heels on the mat. Then we start to walk our feet really gently. Little steps towards the front of your mat. Rooting your feet down into the mat before drawing ourselves one vertebrae at a time all the way up to the top of our mat, rooting along with your hands, palms to heart center, samasthi to he. Let's start to bring a bit more movement into our practice now. Toes together, heels apart to the top of your mat, rooting your feet down into the mat, reaching your hands, fingertips long towards the ceiling, gazing towards your thumbs. Let's exhale, keeping really, really, really long, coming into a 90 degree, and then all the way down to the mat. Inhale to lengthen, exhale to draw your core in. Right foot steps back, left foot steps back. We're in plank, shoulders away from your ears. Bring your knees down, chest down in between your hands. It's almost easy after puppy, and let's draw ourselves forward into cobra. Shoulder blades are drawing together at the back, core is strong. Tucking your toes under, lifting up through plank and back to downward facing dog. Breathing here. Gazing between your hands. You can jump or join me in stepping. Lift your right foot really high towards the ceiling. Draw that knee into your chest and kick your foot between your hands. Left foot comes to meet. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale to fall deeply. Inhale to reach all the way up towards the ceiling. Palms to heart center. Samasthi to he. Inhale, reaching towards the ceiling. Exhale to fold. Inhale to lengthen. Really reach the top of your head long. Exhale to draw your belly in. Hands hit the mat. Left foot comes back. Right foot comes back. This time we go chaturanga, so you can tip your weight forward onto your toes, bending at those elbows. Let's stay here just for a count of five, four, three, two, and one. Inhale to draw your chest forward into our upward facing dog, opening the front of your body. Pushing into your hands, draw your core in. Imagine that you're lifting with your core all the way up to downward facing dog. You can hook your right toes around that left heel again, drawing it down as your tailbone reaches towards the ceiling. Top of your head reaches in between your hands. Take your right foot down, left toes, hook around your right ankle. Both feet hit the mat. Jumping or join me in stepping, lift your left foot high, gaze between your hands. Knee comes into your chest, kick that foot between your hands. Right foot comes to meet. We inhale here. Exhale, fold a little bit more deeply. And then inhale to rise all the way up to standing. Palms to heart center. Great job. Toes together, heels apart. Inhale to lengthen, reach those fingertips towards the ceiling. Exhale to fold. Inhale to lengthen with a flat back. Exhale to jump or step back into your chaturanga. From here, we're gonna walk our feet in one or two steps. We're gonna lower our forearms down. So we're into a dolphin, kind of a long dolphin. We're just starting out, so if you wanna shift your feet back a little bit, make it more gentle, that's a-okay. So our shoulders are over our elbows, hands are broad, forearms are pushing down into the mat, and our chest is lifting away from the mat. Breathing here, encouraging your heels towards the mat as well. Drawing your core and we're gonna lift both elbows at the same time and come into a plank. We're in our plank, shifting forward into our chaturanga, upward facing dog, rolling over your toes into downward facing dog. 
breathing here. The option of hooking your toes again, if you'd like to lengthen through the back of your legs. And switch sides. Shoulders away from your ears. Gaze in between your hands, jumping or stepping to the front of your mat, lengthening, folding, rising up to standing, palms to heart center. Inhale, reach towards the ceiling with those fingertips, gaze towards your thumbs. Exhale to fold. Inhale to lengthen with a flat back. Exhale to jump or step back into your chaturanga. Upward facing dog. Pushing back into your downward facing dog. We're gonna lower our elbows towards the mat. Coming into our dolphin again. Maybe walk your feet in a step. Breathing here. Strong through your legs, core is drawing in. Light through your arms. We're gonna lift our elbows at the same time. Maybe imagining that you have a band around your elbows so they don't draw out to the side when we lift. Pushing into your hands, up into plank, forward into chaturanga, upward facing dog. Pushing over your toes into downward facing dog. Taking a breath here. The option of staying still or hooking your toes around your um, back of your ankles to draw your heel down towards the mat. And then switch sides. Long, deep breaths. Gazing between your hands. Let's jump our step to the front of our mat. When we get there, we're gonna stay folded forward. Reach your hands around the back, clasp your hands together, joining your palms together. Core is drawing in. Let's stretch our arms away from us and overhead into a lovely, it's kind of like an assisted forward fold. The weight of our hands is helping to draw our chest forward towards our shins, top of our head towards the mat. Draw your shoulders away from your ears. Breathing here, maybe shift your whole weight a little bit more forward, pressing into your big toes. Strong and engaged through your legs. So take a little look at your thighs. Are they active? Are they engaged? Draw your hands a little bit more forward. Breathing here. Pushing into our feet, draw your core in. Reaching along with our head, keeping your hands as far away from your bottom, from your back as possible. Reaching long as we start to draw ourselves up towards standing. Hands stay stretching away from our body. Legs are super strong and engaged. Let's do a little back bend here. So squeezing your bottom, squeezing your core, lift through your chest, long through your lower back. Coming back into a very gentle back bend. Keeping your hands away from your bottom. And back up to center. Catching your breath, rolling through your shoulders. Toes together, heels apart. Inhale to reach towards the ceiling. Exhale to fold. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale to jump or step back into your chaturanga. Upward facing dog. Pushing back into downward facing dog. From here, we're gonna lift our left foot really high towards the ceiling and take it in between our hands. Coming up into warrior one, rotate your right foot down, glue the outside edge of that foot to the mat, right hip is forward. Inhale to lift yourself up into warrior one. So our hips are gently moving towards being parallel with the front of the mat. So in line with the front of the mat. Once I get here, I know my legs are strong, so I always let my belly go. Always to draw your core in. Tuck your tailbone under a little bit. Reach those hands up high overhead and then take them behind your head. So we're gonna clasp our hands behind our head. Keeping your ribs funneling down, shoulders away from your ears, a deep bend in that left knee. If you need, you can reach a little bit more forward with your right elbow, just to try to bring your chest in line with the front of the mat, pushing into the heel of your left foot and the outer edge of your right foot. Breathing here, super strong. Draw your core in a little bit more, bend a little bit more deeply. And then we're gonna lift ourselves up to center. You can keep your hands where they are. Maybe you wanna reverse the clasp as we come through center and then rotate towards the back of our mat, bringing our legs down into warrior one again. If you need, you can stretch up your arms and reposition yourself if that helps. 
and then bring your hands back to behind your head. Equal weight between both feet, push into that right heel, push into the outer edge of your left foot. Don't forget to draw your core in. Tuck your tailbone under, breathing here, ribs are funneling down rather than flaring open. Open through those elbows a little bit more. Maybe lifting your gaze a teeny bit. Releasing our hands, let's open out into warrior two. So our hips are opening towards the long side of our mat, deep bend in that right knee. Maybe you wanna open the angle of your left foot a little bit, tucking that tailbone under, reaching long with those fingertips, gazing over the middle finger on your right hand. Bend a little bit more deeply into your right knee. Push a little bit more into the outer edge of your left foot. Lengthen through your spine a little bit more. Straighten through our right leg, rotate on our heels. Let's come to warrior two at the front of our mat. Opening our hips towards the long side of our mat, reach those fingertips long away, bending deeply into that left knee. Imagine that I'm pulling on your left hand and then pulling in your right hand, stretching long between your upper body, opening through your chest. Bend a little bit more deeply, tuck your tailbone under a little bit more, push a little bit more into the outer edge of that right foot before taking your hands down to the mat. Let's come straight back up into our down dog. From here, we're gonna bring our elbows down to the mat. Breathing here, thinking about your heels, reaching towards the mat. So we take ourselves into our dolphin position. Core is super strong. Shift those shoulders over your elbows and drop your knees down just for a second. Lift back up to straight legs. Keep breathing and tip your knees off the mat just for a second and lift back up. Let's go five more times. Tip your knees down, lift back up. Imagine that you're light as a feather. The action is coming from your core. Tip those knees down, lift back up. Shoulders away from your ears. Tip those knees down, lift back up. Tip down, lift up, tip down, lift up. Last time, tip down, lift up. Lifting those elbows, plank, forward into chaturanga, upward facing dog or cobra, pushing back into downward facing dog, taking a breath here. Let's take one more. Gazing between our hands, let's jump or step to the front of our mat. Lengthen, fold, rise up to standing, palms to heart center. Great job. Taking our hands, clasp them behind our back, squeezing your bottom, squeeze your core, lift through your chest, long through your lower spine. Let's come into a tiny little back bend here. Allow your gaze and your chest to lift towards the ceiling, drawing those hands away from your bottom. Just come as far back as is comfortable for you. Maybe you let your gaze drop back, making sure that you can continue breathing really comfortably. Back up to center. Let's draw our chest down towards our thigh, towards our shins. Stretching in the opposite direction. Using our hands to draw ourselves back up to center. Roll through your shoulders. Let's reach our fingertips, sweep them off the mat, coming into our Utkatasana, our fierce pose. Lift your heels at the same time as lifting your fingertips towards the ceiling. From here, we're gonna push into our toes to create a little bit more stability. You can choose a gazing point on the, the ground. We're gonna lower one centimeter, two centimeter, and pause, breathing here. And then lower one centimeter, two centimeters, and pause. And then we're gonna rise up one centimeter, two centimeters, pause. And then rise up again, one centimeter, two centimeters, pause, keep those heels lifting. Let's go down again. One, two, pause. One, two, pause. Reaching your fingertips towards the mat, lowering your heels. Inhale to lengthen, exhale to jump or step back. 
into your chaturanga, knees, chest, chin, upward facing or cobra, pushing back into downward facing dog, lowering your elbows, dropping your knees down, dolphin with knee dips. Let's go for four more and three more. Two and one. Lifting your elbows up into plank, forward into chaturanga, upward facing dog, pushing back into downward facing dog just for a second, crossing at your ankles, coming to sitting on your mat in dandasana. Legs are straight out in front of you, toes are drawing towards your face, outer edge of your foot is drawing towards your face as well. Length through your spine, hands are resting gently beside your hips. Active through your legs, so so active, it's as if you could lift your heels off the mat. Breathing here. Let's reach our fingertips really long towards the ceiling. Legs stay just as engaged. We're going to come forward into our Pachimottanasana, so forward fold. But no matter how you usually grab, maybe you grab around your feet or you clasp your hands beyond your feet. I want everyone to reach along towards the ceiling, fold forward, bring your belly towards your thighs and grab above your knees. So we're all gonna grab our thighs. Inhale to lengthen, exhale to draw your elbows out to the side. Really try to squeeze your belly towards your thighs. So squeeze your belly and your thighs together active through those legs. Draw the sides of your feet towards your face, reaching the top of your head long. So we inhale to lengthen through our spine and we exhale to fold a little bit more deeply. And we inhale to lengthen and we exhale to fold. And one more time, inhale to lengthen, exhale to fold, squeezing our belly and our thighs together. Let's release, taking our hands behind our glutes. So we're gonna lift ourselves up into Parvatanasana, like reverse plank. So drawing your core in, shoulders away from your ears, lifting your hips. We're aiming at having our toes touching off the mat. If you're back here, that's okay. Just work with your body, you'll build strength over time. If you're able, reach your toes towards the mat. Maybe you gaze towards your feet towards the ceiling or let your head drop back. Breathing here, lifting those hips, squeezing through your glutes, squeezing through the back of your legs. Let's take another few breaths here. Seeing if you can tip your toes off the mat, even just for a second. And then releasing your bottom back down, crossing at your thighs, crossing your ankles even rolling forward maybe you want to jump back into your chaturanga or step back into knees chest chin upward facing dog pushing back into downward facing dog if you feel like you're heating up we can take a big deep inhale together and then exhale to our mouth so inhaling and exhaling inhaling and exhaling and inhaling and exhaling. It's a really useful cooling breath. You can use at any stage. Gazing between our hands, let's jump or step to the top of our mat. Inhale to lengthen, exhale to fold. Reach those hands around the back, clasp your palms together, draw your hands overhead towards the mat active through your legs, opening through your shoulders. You know the drill, core is drawing in, belly is touching off your thighs. Let's keep long in our spine, hands stay reaching away from our body as we draw ourselves back up to standing, strong through your legs. Once you feel stable here, we draw our core and squeeze our glutes, keep your hands lifting away from your body as we come into a gentle back bend. Maybe a little bit deeper than before as our body warms up. Maybe it's less deep. Just do what works for you. Coming back to center, rolling through our shoulders. Great job. Inhale to reach your fingertips towards the ceiling. Exhale to fold. Inhale to lengthen with a flat back, core draws in. 
really strongly. Exhale, palms hit the mat. Stepping back into our plank. Let's lower our forearms, coming into dolphin. Elbows come over our, even our shoulders come over our elbows even. <laughs> okay, from here, let's try to drop our right knee down and lift it. And our left knee down and lift it. Right knee down and lift, core is strong. And I'm working into our obliques a little bit here as we build strength in our upper body at the same time. Let's just keep it moving. Left knee dips, right knee dips, left knee dips, right knee dips. We'll go for two more each side. Left knee and right knee. Stay strong. Left knee and right knee. Great job. Lift both elbows. We're in plank. Coming forward into chaturanga. Upward facing dog. Pushing back into downward facing dog. Breathing here. You take your right toes and clasp them around. Hook them around your left ankle to stretch that left heel down. As we breathe deeply. And switch legs. Right foot hits the mat, hooking our left toes around our right ankle. And back, both feet are on the mat. Let's reach our left toes high towards the ceiling. Draw that foot in between your hands. Right foot swivels down. Coming into a river direction of one just for a second. We're taking the right side of your body forward. It's very really long and diagonal. You draw your palms towards your chest, deep bend in that left knee. We're going to twist into our warrior one. If there's any pressure on your right knee, we want you to come high on those toes. And um, if not, keep your foot flat, and your right foot is rooting into the right. Top of your head, reaches long. Breathing here. If the twist is not right for you just now, then just stay in. Normal warrior one. Let's open your hands. Right foot, right hand reaches towards the mat. Left hand reaches up towards the ceiling. Keep your gaze where it's comfortable for you. Make it on the mat for exercise. Let's straighten to our right leg. Coming into our twisted trikonasana. Bend into your right knee. Opening up to center, rotating on both heels towards the back of your mat, reaching long into, reaching long towards the ceiling into a normal warrior one, encouraging the left side of your body forward. Breathing here, outer edge of your left foot is rooting into the mat. The core is really strong. Reaching forward on a diagonal, drawing your palms towards your chest. And let's hook our left elbow outside of our right knee. Again, come in high on those left toes if you feel any pressure in your left knee. Shoulders away from your ears. Breathing here. Bending deeply into that right knee. Let's open our hands. Left fingertips reach towards the mat. Right fingertips reach long towards the ceiling. And then we straighten to our right knee. Maybe you have your left hand slightly back, and maybe you want to use a block to support you. Breathe in here. Let's twist ourselves back up to center into warrior two. So warrior two towards the back of our mat, deep bend in that right knee, opening the all to our hands. Gaze is over our right middle finger. You can keep your legs where they are, or release into straight legs just for a second before taking your right hand down to the mouse. And we're going to try to bind. So take your right hand under, take your left hand around the back, and try to clasp hands, or maybe your right hand grabs your left wrist. Or maybe you just bend like this, put your right hand on your thigh, your left hand just grabs your t-shirt around the back. You do what works for you. We twist and open towards the long side of your mat, long through the spine, breathing, 
Allow your body to open up in its own time. Let's release our hands, coming back up into warrior one, lengthening through both legs. We're taking, we're going up to warrior two. On the, the front of your mat, so deep bend that left knee, outer edge of your right foot, is glued to the mat. Gaze over that left hand, over the middle finger. We're going to take our left hand, fingertips out of the mat, and bind. So reaching your left hand around the back, right hand comes around as well. Clasp the hands and clasp the fingers, or you take your left hand around your right wrist. Or, you know, we just put our hands somewhere like this, working towards being able to bind. Breathing here, opening the chest, lengthening through the spine, equal weight in both feet. And you bend a little bit more deeply into that left knee. Take your shoulders away from your ears. Releasing that open to a warrior one. Let's windmill our hands down to the mat. Come up through chicken around the running stars two. Upward facing dog or cobra. Pushing back to downward facing dog. Give the option here of hooking your toes around the backs of your ankles to release through your legs. Maybe you want to take some cooling breaths. So inhaling deeply through your lungs and then exhaling with that. Same. When you're ready, we're going to gaze between your hands, jump in or step into the front of your butt. When we're here, we're going to take our hands around the back into a deep forward fold. Take the opposite clasp from before if you can. Fold them forward. Active through your legs. Take a little peek at your legs. Make sure that your thigh muscles are switched on. Maybe tipping your weight a little bit more forward than before. Pushing your toes into the mat to keep you stable. Push those hands overhead. Shoulders away from your ears, core is drawing in. And then we're going to push into our feet, long to our spine. Hands stay off our back as much as possible. Coming up to standing, squeezing through our legs, core draws in. Lend through your lower back, particularly as we open our body up towards the ceiling. Keeping those hands drawn away from our body, coming into a very gentle back bend, and then lift yourself all the way up back up to center, rolling through your shoulders. Great job. Toes together, heels apart. Let's sweep our fingertips off the mat, coming into our Pikachu. Draw your hands together at your chest, reach your right elbow to the edge of your left knee, and twist. Lowering your bottom, draw your belly in to create space. Push the toe of your head along. Stay, keep your legs in the position that they are. Bring yourself back to center. Let's twist towards the right side. Twist and you can touch the towards the right side of your arms. Shoulders are shifting away from your ears. Bottom is dropping towards the arms. Opening your chest. Towards the right side, leaning in towards the ceiling. And then we come back to center. Reach those fingertips towards the mat. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale to come back into our point. You can just take your normal knees, just turn it over. We can join me, dropping your elbows down. In towards the front of our point. You actually get easier the more we do, the more we activate our muscles through class. Give it a try for 30 seconds. Breathing here, lifting your chest away from the mat. Let's walk our right foot in like five or six, seven centimeters and tip it back. And then our left foot in and tip it back. Our right foot in, walk it back super slow. Left foot in, take a breath there, walk it back. Right foot in, take a breath, walk it back. Left foot in, take a breath. Walk it back. Great job. Lifting up into plank with control. Forward into chaturanga. Upward facing dog. Open through your chest. Shoulder blades are to twitch at the back. Rolling over your toes into downward facing dog. From here we're going to cross the ankles. Come into signal dandasana again. Shifting your hands up. We're sweeping the hands up over your glutes. You need to a bit of a stronger connection between your sit bones on the mat. Let's draw our toes in towards our face. Super strong. 
from here, we're going to keep our body where it is, upper body, and lift her right leg. Really long through that. Um, so reach it along the way, reach those toes towards the ceiling. Like you're going to go towards the ceiling. Trying to keep your upper body straight, low back then, core is strong. Let's lift our left foot. Really lifting those toes as you can. Straight through that knee. Breathe in here. If you feel yourself tipping back, use your core to draw yourself up. And lower back then. Let's try to point those toes. So left toes stay flexed. So we're going to point the right toes and lift. Breathe in here. And lower down. Let's switch. Right toes around towards my face. Left toes reach away. Keep that core strong. Lower and back down. It's time we lift our left toes towards the ceiling. Point and flex. And point and flex. And lift your foot a little bit higher. And point and flex. And point and flex. And lower and back down. Great job. Let's take our left foot up. Keep your chest open. Head is reaching towards the ceiling. Lift your left foot. Point and flex. And point and flex. And then lift it a little bit higher. A point and flex, a point and flex. Fantastic. Take your right foot into the inside of your left thigh. Gently choose us on that A. Inhale to reach those fingertips towards the ceiling. Exhale to fold. We're thinking about what we practiced earlier. Belly twisting our thighs. So you can grab over your knee, your calf, maybe your ankle, or your foot. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale to follow. Try to bring the right side of your body down a little bit more to the left. The left will naturally come down closer to your leg because of the way we're twisting over our left leg. So draw your right side of your body down, elbows are wide to the side. Using your breath, inhale to lengthen. Exhale to fold them a little bit more deeply. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale to fold. Draw those left toes towards your face. Super active in that left leg. All the muscles are turned on, switched on. One more breath. Inhale to lengthen. And exhale to fold it a little bit more deeply. Releasing. And we switch to the side. Left side comes into the inside of our right thigh. Inhale to reach long. Exhale to fold. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale to fold over that thigh. Draw the left side of your body down. Shoulders away from your ears. And your elbows are reaching out to the side. Breathing here, belly is touching your thigh. Releasing back up, taking your feet long, coming into a purpose and asana. Super strong, keeping those toes reaching towards the mat. Let's lift our left foot towards the ceiling and replace it down. Right foot down. And then we take our left foot up and drop it down. Right foot comes up, drop it down. Left foot comes up, drop it down. Right foot comes up, draw those toes towards your face, point them away, draw them towards your face, point them away, lower down. Lift your left foot, toes towards your face, point them away, towards your face, point them away, drop them back down, lowering your bottom. Take your feet flat to the mat, lifting up into our reverse tabletop. Pushing into your hands, keeping your core strong. We're going to shift our hips back through our hands, keeping our bottom off the mat. Drawing the bottom back through. Take a breath here. The back of it's reverse tabletop, reaching those hips towards the ceiling. And draw your hips back through your hands, keeping your bottom off the mat. And back through. One more time. Bottom comes through your hands. And get a lower back then. Great job. Okay, we're going to shift our body forward a little bit. Roll our upper body down. Feet are close to your bottom. You can touch them with your fingertips. Rolling up through your spine, clasping your hands underneath. Pressing your clasped hands into the mat to lift your hips and open your chest towards the ceiling. Keep your gaze towards the ceiling, taking your chin a little bit away from your chest. Lift those hips a little bit higher. And then a little bit higher, and then a little bit higher. Releasing your hands, rolling all the way back down. Knees come into your chest just for a second before we roll forward, cross over on our ankles, kicking back into Chaturanga. 
upward facing dog. Push him back into downward facing dog. Taking a breath here. Coming forward to the front for a bit. Clasp the hands behind your back. Coming to a deeper forward fold. Pushing into our feet, lifting ourselves all the way back up to the center. Just start to squeeze your bottom, squeeze your core long through your lower spine. Let's come back into our backward bend. And then all the way back up to the center. Rolling through your shoulders, lifting down into your feet. Inhale to reach towards the ceiling. Exhale to fold. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale to downward step back. To yoga. Upward facing. Pushing back into downward facing dog. Take our left foot down towards the ceiling. Draw up between your hands. Where you want Breathe in here. Maybe it feels easier than before. So just open the lower body. Equal weight between both feet. And start to reach our arms forward again. On the down now. You roll over to the tops of your right toes. We're going to come into our warrior three. So pushing into your left foot, then you want to take your right toes in a little bit. I'm going to balance the other left foot. Right toes are drawn towards your right knee. Lower your chest, reach along with those, uh, with your hands, like two opposing forces. So I'm just pulling on your hands and also pulling on your left foot. Stretching long core is drawing. Really gently, we're going to replace our right foot back and open it into warrior two. Hips are opening towards the long side of our right, gazing in over our left middle finger. From here, we're going to move into our half moon. So, choosing our point on the floor, we're going to place our left hand. So maybe one hand's distance to the left of your left foot and two hands up in front over here. We're going to gently shift all the way onto our left foot. So you can come up in uh, steps on your right foot or come up in one swoop, opening the chest towards the right side of your mat. Maybe you get into towards the floor and then you gently walk it up the wall towards the ceiling. Reaching those right fingertips towards the ceiling, drawing your right toes towards your face, breathing here. Take your gaze back down to the ground, really in a controlled way as much as we can. We're going to place our right foot back down, warrior two. Let's rotate on our heels to the other side, warrior two towards the back of our mat, breathing here. Choose your spot for foot and hand for half moon. Place your hands down, shifting your weight into the right foot. Gaze towards the floor, let's kick off our left foot. Opening our chest towards the mat, towards the long side of the mat. Maybe thinking about opening towards the ceiling. Gaze starts to walk up the wall towards the ceiling. Draw the left toes towards your face. Breathing here. Lift your left leg a little bit higher, and then with control, let's place that left foot down, coming up into warrior two. Let's shift our left hip forward into warrior one. Deep bend in that right knee. Core is drawing in. Coming behind those left toes, take your body forward to the diagonal, reaching as far away as you can with fingertips. We're going to place all that weight on our right foot, kick off our left foot, going into warrior three on our left side. Left toes are drawn towards your left knee, breathing here. With control, let's place that foot back down, opening it into warrior two, and then reeling towards the back of our pad, going into our hind. Knees to extend your tolerance, upward facing your cobra, downward facing dog, crossing over our ankles, and straight up into the mouth of the 
Breathing here. Bending at your knees. Draw those knees in close to your chest. Open through your chest. Let's drop our toes in and lift. Drop our toes in. Lift. Toes in. Lift. Straight legs. Taking breath. A few more breaths here. Five, four, three, two, one. Releasing your legs. Back down, coming into our curves and also the toes hit the mat. Lifting your glutes. Take your right knee into your chest. Replace it. Tip it back down. Open your knee to the side. Tip it back down. Knee towards your chest. Tip it back down. Knee towards your chest. Back to the side. Back down. Towards your chest. Then over to the side. Back down. Let's do the same on the left side. Knee towards your chest. Towards your chest, but opening your knee to the side. Towards your chest, place it back down, and then opening to the side. And towards your chest, and opening to the side. Great job, toes push into the mat, releasing your bottom back down, placing your feet flat on the mat, rolling your upper body down. Let's lift our hips up into bridge pose. So position your feet where you can just uh, touch them lightly with your fingertips, hip width distance apart, rolling up from your lowest vertebrae all the way up, clasping your hands underneath, lifting your hips, open your chest, shoulders shift away from your ears, thinking about drawing those knees in or keeping them centered rather than allowing them to flop out to the side. Pushing into your heels, pushing into your toes. Let's roll all the way back down, releasing your hands. From here, you can go up into your bridge again, or we can come up into wheel. So I'll try wheel. Um, you can repeat the bridge, as I said. Pushing into your feet, place your hands either side of your head. Only try wheel if you're familiar with it. Um, make sure that you try this one with it teacher present or someone to give you proper support. So hands come up uh, well, side your head, thinking you might draw those hands together. Oh. 
Sure. 